everybody, this is Scott Moore. And today I'm installing LoadRunner 1202, brand new version. And I'm gonna do a full setup on my machine, which is Windows 7 64-bit. We launch the executable. It looks at, make sure that your computer requirements comply. I'm gonna accept the license agreement and I'm gonna let the LoadRunner agent run after installation and create the desktop shortcuts for me for all the applications. So let's go ahead and install the main components of LoadRunner, which are VUGen, the controller, and analysis. Now on your machine, it may take a little bit longer depending on what your specs are, but I encourage you to check out the README file to make sure that you have those. Now you may see this certificate error because you're gonna have to define that, and I don't wanna go through that this time, so I'm just gonna take that option off and continue on with installation. I, am, I do want to launch the license utility once it's done, uh, but I don't need to see the README file, so I think I might uncheck that. You'll also see at the top there's another option for installing the web controller. This is something brand new in LoadRunner 1202, and you'll see that if you don't have internet access, um, you can download a file or you can get a file uh, separately from somewhere else and put it on your machine. So now we're going to launch that, and we're running the installation for the new web controller. This was released in 1202 as a beta, um, so it's not fully supported. But here we see our community license of 50 virtual users of any type, which is also something new with version 12. So that's kind of exciting that you can actually run a, a low-level test with 50 users or less. So we're almost done here. Let's go ahead and continue on with the setup wizard. Now we're ready to run the web controller as a, a web app. You'll see this pop up and so you'll see that it's running a bunch of stuff in the background and you'll also need to make sure that your firewall isn't blocking this particular uh, evented I.O. for VB JavaScript. I know it says joint but we know from the path that we're looking at LoadRunner. So running Node.js, uh, and this is what the website actually looks at. I'm not going to go into this because that would be a, a different topic in a different video, but you will see these background processes, this Node.exe, the runtime environment running in the background. So you don't want to just kill those things direct. You can come into this uh, option for stop web controller, either from your Windows Explorer or from your uh, start menu, and you'll see that it just killed all those background processes. I do want to point out that when you launch that web controller and you see that window pop up, it may take a few seconds longer than you think for the web server to be available on localhost, uh, they believe it's port 8181, and that's what you might see if uh, it can't find it. So I had to wait a few more seconds, refresh, and there it is. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.